So when we ask the Lord for peace, now the teaching in Kabbalah, and Kabbalah literally means to receive. But what are we receiving? Mostly instruction. Technically, this is Torah. But Torah itself is, in a traditional lesson, the first five books of the scriptures. So we look at the pinnacle, starting with the racious. You know, and uh, one of my favorite actual understandings of this, to understand the essence of the word of God, the very sweetness for it, there should be a craving for it. Now, the way that they teach this, pardon, pause, come on. Rewind that, and then run it, and action. It's to understand that the very essence that we end up seeing within creation itself from the Torah is to give forth that divine instruction. Now, Torah originally given to Moses, so Moshe Rabbanu. But to understand that, actually, when we end up looking at the Psalms, most people don't realize that when we end up looking at Psalm 90 through 100, these are all the songs. It's the Tehillim of Moshe. And now this is the perfect example of divine emanation, of the world of absolute. You see, Jesus ended up having that same connection. Moses talked directly to God. It was a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship, an interconnection with the Savior. Now that's what we all have. And understanding that it is to build forth that emanation, to take a new character guide now, make a new perspective of the world around you. When you end up having that, you see it was so profound and so powerful that once you connect with that divine emanation, to have the Torah itself in its essence changes the way that you view everything change the way that your life is. Now, if we look at this, I can end up seeing this. The Moses that we see in Egypt is different from the Moses that we see when he returns to Egypt and then leads the people towards the promised land. Now, understanding that following the word of God is the very key into receiving that salvation, but then also looking towards that reflection of where we are shows us how to take the steps necessary to change and to also then build so that you're given a certain portion, a blessing, a power, and strength of God. And you can actually reset that every morning. It's brand new. But if you understand that in that, we can then start fresh and new. Why? It's a spiritual rebirth. The same thing as we end up seeing, as we end up therefore having a baptism, for instance. It starts all over. You have been pardoned for all of your sins, for all of your iniquity, and you were then therefore given forth the righteousness of Christ Jesus to lead others into salvation to be able to give a profound blessing forth glory, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That is the blessing that we end up having in a spiritual dynamic as we know the Word of God. Through the Torah, we learn how to create. And that's what we want to invite you to today. We want you to join us online this Sunday all around the world, from here in Washington, Jerusalem, Rome, and everywhere that we go this year. We're going to be preaching the Word of God. We're going to give a new message to you. But it's the same message that's been there all along. But we're going to go through it, verse by verse, word by word, with the blessing of Christ Jesus. I want you to receive salvation. I want you to know the blessing that Christ has for you, that if you give God your life, God will give you a life. He'll give you a hope, a dream, a future, a blessing. It is the perseverance that God has given unto us. And because of that very grace, we continue to go forth, building grace into grace, love into love, and wisdom into wisdom divine, immaculate conception of the rebirth of the soul itself, and that's the key. My message is simple. It's really so simple. Jesus is Lord, and when you call him to that, you end up receiving that infinite glory. God bless. God bless America, and I'll see you.